In this video, we're going to show you how to install the crank sensor on your Jeep Grand Cherokee located on the bottom side of your engine. Before tackling this job, you want to go ahead and disconnect a battery, starting with the negative terminal. Accessing the two nuts from above the front axle using a long extension and a 13 millimeter socket with a swivel. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to separate that harness. Popping off the washer. I'm going to access the rearward bolt. It's on the back side of the bell housing going forward into the starter using our 15 millimeter gear wrench. You can use a super long extension and your impact gun if you want to. All right, we're going to switch over to our extension now that we have that bolt broke using our 15 millimeter socket and extension. And remove that bolt. Now we're going to get our forward mounted bolt. Now reaching up between the catalytic converter and the oil pan, I'm grabbing the starter and I'm going to reach up around the con control arm. I'm going to rotate this. There is an additional electrical connector that we need to get disconnected. So we're just trying to get it into position so, so we can gain access to that. You're going to reach on up on top of the connector and press down on the tab and disconnect the electrical connector here. Now we need to position the starter so we can work that forward and out. Now when we, we're up inside, here is a connector right here. So the connector that goes onto this is just a little spring clip on the top. You press that down and pull that connector off. And then you can go ahead and remove that starter completely. Now right here is our crank sensor and is held in place with this bolt right here. And we're going to use our 13 millimeter socket with our ratchet to loosen and remove the bolt securing this in place. Okay, to remove that bolt. Now at this point here, we're gonna use a pair of pliers and there is an O-ring that seals the crank sensor. So we're gonna try and use the pliers and gently twist it. We're gonna try and get it as close to the base as possible. Now there's a possibility that this can break, which is gonna require alternative measures to get removed. Now we did soak it down with some rust penetrant to try and get into that O-ring there. Now we've been soaking this down with some rust penetrant working this sensor. Just need to pull this out with that O-ring. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle that sensor out of the block. Now we're gonna pull this down and now we're gonna disconnect the connector. We couldn't pull off the connector because the tab that you press in on is up against the flange for the transmission area. So we're gonna press in on this little tab right here and wiggle it off of the connector, off the sensor. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and connect the connector now. Press it on, you can hear it click into place. Line up that sensor. Now there is an O-ring on there to help seal that. So at this point here, we're just gonna wiggle that into place. Now at this point, the hole here on the tab isn't lining up with the bolt hole, so I'm just gonna use a pick and just gonna rotate this down just a little bit so that lines up. Now we can get our bolt started. All right, once we have that bolt started a few threads, I'm gonna use our ratchet and go ahead and zip that down the rest of the way. Go ahead and torque this to 21 foot pounds. Now as we feed our starter into place, you wanna pay attention to the stud here on the left and then the electrical connector port right here. Uh, we're gonna to have to install a wiring harness here and then over here. This one here we're not going to touch. Once we get the starter back, we can go ahead and put the gear and the snout into the bell housing. All right, now that we have the starter lined up, I'm gonna take one of the bolts and I'm gonna get it started on the bottom side here. Now that we have that in a few threads, let's go ahead and install the upper bolt. Now we're just gonna snug this down with our hand ratchet. We're gonna then snug down the forward bolt. Go ahead and torque these bolts down to 40 foot-pounds. On the top of our starter solenoid, we have two studs right here. And then on the top is the, is the connector or the plug here. I wanna connect our harness onto that. Line that up and push that on. Now once you get that connector pushed down, and locked on, go ahead and push that red lock tab down into place. That'll secure that connector. Next thing you wanna do is install this cable right here. Put that on there. Install the locking washer. Install the nut. Go ahead and snug that nut down. We want to go ahead and torque this to 100 inch pounds or 8.3 foot pounds. Go ahead and install your battery terminals. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.